A dramatic turn of events tonight as Dawson Springs police announced missing teenager Lauren Sizemore is, will soon be back with her family. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight at 9 o'clock. I'm Brandon Bartlett. Lauren disappeared on Saturday, and many believe she was with her step-grandfather, Glenn Harper. Eyewitness News' Amanda Mueller was at a prayer vigil tonight that turned into a celebration. Amanda? Well, Brandon, there were tears and green ribbons as people gathered tonight at Dawson Springs High School to pray. And then came the breathtaking moment the Dawson Springs police chief announced Lauren was coming home. ending nobody saw coming. To be honest, we thought it was probably going to be a little bit longer. Yeah. But, you know, it's exciting news, you know. It's awesome news. People crowded into the gym at Dawson Springs High School to pray for Lauren Sizemore's safe return. Uh, thank you for supporting this community and this family. Father, we're still praying for her protection. It was a prayer that had already been answered. About 15 minutes ago, I received a phone call. Glenn Harper, Lauren Sizemore are in custody. The announcement bringing the small community of Dawson Springs to its feet and then together in thankful prayer. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 56 year old Glenn Harper was taken into custody in southern Alabama after a long week for Lauren's family and police issued a warrant for kidnapping. If you live in Dawson Springs, you're family. You know, that's just the way we are around here. You live here, you're family, and that's the way we see it. Now, Dawson Springs is looking ahead to the future and bringing Lauren home. That's awesome. You know, God's great. Envision Lauren giving you one of those great big old hugs that she's the famous for and hold that thought until you feel her arms wrapped around your neck again. Lauren's family left from the vigil to head to Alabama to reunite with her. The FBI and U.S. Marshals helped Dawson Springs police during the investigation. Live in the newsroom, Amanda Mueller, Eyewitness News.